Hi and welcome to Devon Lee Design Studio. My name is Nicole Reed, and today we're going to make this beautiful yarn covered letter. So let's get started. Okay, so thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of recycling and I like to do this with my kids because it gets them involved in the crafting process and they always have their take on things. But we're going to get some cardboard from an old cardboard box and we're going to turn it into, and some yarn out of our scrap yarn box and we're actually going to turn it into a gorgeous little crafty uh, item a yarn covered letter so you can use either cardboard if you don't have any cardboard boxes but you happen to have some lettering at home from Kayser Wood or somewhere like that from a scrapbooking shop or a craft store you can use those but as I said today we're actually going to be focusing on using recycled materials because kids change their mind all the time and if that your kids are anything like mine I know that their colors change almost on what seems like a weekly basis so let's get started Okay, so now we need to get our supplies together. There's a few things that you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need something that is uh, sticky. So we can stick the first part of our yarn down and, and as we're going through. Now, um, I have used hot glue gun and I generally use that on the wooden letters. Um, but when I'm working with cardboard as I am today, I tend to not use the hot glue gun, but you can still use it. I tend not to use it and I use a double-sided tape or I use um, Elmer's Craft Bond Tacky Glue. Uh, I find this one is really easy to use and, and I don't have any issues with it. The only issue that I have with doing something like this and having to do it on camera is that um, it may take a little bit longer uh, to dry and the wool may not... Um, hold uh, hold as as good as it would if I had let it dry for a little while so today I'm going to use double sided tape um, it doesn't matter what size you use this one is a half inch width and um, it's enough to to get me started and I'll show you what I do with that a little bit later okay you'll also need a pencil a pair of paper scissors a ruler to mark out where you're going to trade like your letter and you'll also need some yarn to cover it and you will need some decorations as well um, so any sort of flowers or like here I've got some flowers um, I've got some little crystals as well um, yeah you can use whatever you want on there so you just decorate it how you like this is a wooden letter that I I done and um, you can see I've just put a little butterfly on it and a couple little flowers my daughter chose um, those colors and whatnot that how she wanted it on her letter and we just used a, a variegated yarn so this is what your it's going to look like and basically it just hangs on her door and um, she loves it I'm using an M today and I've already cut them out I've cut two out because I'm actually going to make it a little bit thicker and I'm just going to get some sticky tape cut a couple of pieces of sticky tape off so they sort of hold together nothing too technical just pop that down there this is a really good one to do with the kids because they can get involved with decorating their room and we're in the midst of decorating uh, our granddaughter's room at the moment we let her sort of pick different things as well because she might be only two but she knows what she likes alrighty so I've just stuck that on there and then I'll just peel the paper off so I'll just continue doing that and then we'll get our piece so you can see there that the double sided tapes sitting there and this is just going to put the two bits together um, I will put a description a uh, link in the description below for um, coloring in pages I often I'm terrible at lettering my husband is so much better at it um, and I just if I need lettering or anything like that for a project like this I just go to the coloring in pages and um, yeah I just get them from there just print them off and away you go whatever letter you want so I'll put that in the, the I'll link that up in the description below and that way you'll have it alrighty so we've just and you can see there it's just made it a little bit thicker alright so now we're going to get started on wrapping our yarn around so again we need some double I'm using double sided tape today just to make it a little bit easier for me and um but you can use a hot glue or you can use the tacky tacky glue um i would actually recommend using the tacky glue and just taking a little bit more time 
all right so i've put some double-sided tape there and you can see that i've just put three little bits and i'm going to wrap that around the edge because that will just stop it from slipping and sometimes that can happen with the cardboard that you'll find when you first start it'll slip a little bit so basically just put three a little bit on there um, make sure that it's going around the edges if you need to you can just add more as you're going if you find that they're slipping okay now i've marked uh with blue texture when i traced out and so this is my back and this will be my front Alrighty, so we're going to get started with wrapping our yarn around so you've got your double-sided tape on there we're starting on the back now if you're using a wooden letter they generally have stickers on the back so you'll know which one's the back and which one's not and then I just put that there like that and I start wrapping and what you want to do is you want to wrap it and you want the yarn to be flush against each other so can you see that there all right and when you flip it over you've got the same thing now because we're using cardboard it makes it nice and easy we can actually get a texture we can trim this little bit off at the end or we can get a texture and color it in it's up to you um, you can do it all in one color or like I'm going to do today. I'm going to do it in um, a couple of colors So this is basically what we're doing. We just keep wrapping that around You keep going and you keep going and you can see it goes very quick. It's a nice quick crafty thing to decorate the kids doors um, It's great to do with the kids so for me, I was thinking that um, that I'd do maybe two inches of the pink and then I'd change to the light pink. So when I change colors, I want to start it, I want to finish this hot pink on the back and then I will start my paler pink on the back as well and then continue wrapping because you want your front to be nice and smooth. So you can see there that I've started to, to get about that. I grab my ruler and um, be just at two inches just on there a little over so what I do now is I grab um, the double-sided tape and I just cut a little bit off and I just pop that onto the back just while holding my thread and I stick it not all the way necessarily to the edge but about there I just grab my tweezers it just makes it a little bit easier to grab that paper and then basically I just stick the pink down just bring it back just a touch this is just how I'm joining it just bring it back just a touch and if I'm concerned about that later on because it's on the back I might go and put a little dollop of hot glue gun um, hot glue there with the hot glue gun and that will just hold it in place forever but because these aren't going to get touched or anything like that they're going up on the door the double-sided tape will actually hold it alrighty so we've we've cut that off and then we just get our other color I've got to find the end of that and just where we left off there we just add our light pink we just continue wrapping and because the the double-sided tape is actually uh, half an inch half an inch on the back will actually stick all this down so if you get a little gap I don't know if you can see that there with the cardboard but if there's a little gap you can just use your nails or your ruler to just push it up against it because you want it to be nice and flush so we just keep wrapping and again I'll do about two inches all right so if you look on the back you can see there that's nicely stuck down as well so there you can't really see where it's you can see where I've ended but it's covered it up and it's nice and sealed so you don't have to worry about it too much but if you're concerned by all means just put a little bit of hot glue measure that because that getting close to two inches this might be a little bit smaller all right so you can see there now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this part here next and I'm going to do it in the hot pink and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some double-sided tape on this bit here and I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to wrap up and what I want to do is basically get a nice line across here um, of each of the fabrics uh, uh, each of the the yarns and then basically we can continue doing what we want to do up here okay so I'll be back in just a second all right so you can see that I've just added some more double-sided tape to that and I'm just going to grab my pink yarn and I'm just going to wrap that around now I've got the yarn going off 
right to the tip. So we can come back through there and we can add the fill-ins. So you can see there that it's just going up nicely and the double-sided tape was on the back so you can see that I've still got a little bit to go and that's going to hold it and the only reason I put extra there especially for this particular letter is because it will slip um, being on the cardboard and this particular yarn is quite uh, slippery so that's why I'm doing it so I'm going to continue doing this and I'll be back with the finished letter alrighty so now what we're going to do is just wrap the continue wrapping until the end and as you can see it goes pretty quick um, this has probably taken me 30 minutes to do all up but I figured you didn't need to sit there and watch me do that so and you don't have to do it in the variegated colors uh, like this one this would look perfectly fine if it was all in pink as well so you just keep wrapping around and I'll just check the front you can see that that's going together quite nicely and I've got double-sided tape on the bottom at the back so that's going to grab it and stop it from slipping off and we're going to want to end on the back of the M so you just keep wrapping that until we've covered it all up as I said before if you've got little bits that um, are sticking out like we're going to have here we can just stick that down on the back I need to push it up a little bit so you can see that it was just sliding off a little bit so I'll just wrap that around again. I'll stop that halfway because that's the back. And I'll put a little bit of hot glue there. Okay. And that excess bit there that we've got, we can just trim that off. And then you can colour the, the cardboard in pink or something like that. But that is our M. It is covered. So now what we're going to do is just, um, I generally just uh, fiddle around with it a bit, get it to sit a little bit flatter. And then I'll grab my decorations and I'll just play around with the placement of them. So you can see there, that looks quite cute. I'm going to play a little bit more and get the right layout and um, I'll see you back here. Okay, so that is the layout that we're going with and I've just used some crystal buttons and some flowers and and you know just stuff that I had around the house just to you know that I've got from the dollar shop or um, you know that were gifted to me and stuff like that uh, these bits here I will actually go back and um, color them in with a pink texture which I was trying to find and I cannot seem to find it so I'll have to uh, find out where it is but that is our little little M's uh, door decoration and we made that out of everything that we had here so we had leftover balls of wool we used a uh, the bottom of the case of a, um, a bottom of the box from a soft drink um, container that we bought and I had some butterflies and stuff that, that I had laying around so I thought that they'd be good use for for that sort of thing so I hope you enjoyed that today I will go ahead and glue them down with the hot glue gun um, and also I will put a little um, piece of ribbon on the back just to, to hook it on to a um, drawing pin that I'm just going to use in her door that's temporary. So um, yeah, give it a go and tell me what you think. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed our tutorial today on how to make a yarn covered monogram. This is our finished product. The girls had a bit of an input on how how many butterflies should be on there and what we should put on. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this, this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment and tell us what you thought. Um, and if you want to share what you've made with us, we've got a Facebook community. So basically, if you hit the link down below, um, it will scoot you over to the Facebook group and you can join there. There's lots of activity happening in there with the block of the month and some of the people making other things off the channel. If you liked what you've seen here today, please hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell beside it. And that way you won't miss out on any future crafting or quilting videos that I post up. Thanks very much for joining me today. I'm Nicole Reeve from Devana Lee Design Studio and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.